Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Futuristic Tech and AI. We have already covered the topic of classical computers versus quantum computers, and we feel like tracing the way back. So today, the topic of interest is classical physics versus quantum physics. Like usual, we would start with the question of what? What is classical physics and what is quantum physics? Then the most interesting, hot discussion of the topic is how quantum physics emerged from classical physics. And to rephrase this as, what are some failures of classical physics that led to the emergence of quantum physics? And in the end, we would touch the future of perhaps the trajectory of quantum physics from today. Classical physics in contrast with quantum physics. If we want to understand the difference in simple terms, then classical realm is something where he can predict the future or state to some level. For example, if you know the initial position, speed, and all the forces acting on the object, he can tell its next or future state. And in quantum realm, predictability becomes a little cloudy. In fact, it's true to say that an object might be following many paths at the same time, and then all he can do is to calculate the probability of that different paths. Let's move towards some magical nature experiments results to see closely both sides. Black body radiation. The classical idea that each frequency of vibration should have the same energy is wrong. Instead, according to Planck, energy is not shared equally by electrons that vibrate with different frequencies. Planck said that energy comes in clumps. He called a clump of energy a quanta. The photoelectric effects. The scientists thought that if light is a wave and energy is distributed evenly throughout the wave, when using dim light, it would take some time for sufficient light energy to eject electrons from metallic surfaces. But experiments showed that a certain frequency of light can eject electrons from a metal, and dimness has nothing to do with it. So Einstein predicted if energy comes in clumps, then there will be a stream of clumps of energy. Each clump of light energy is called a photon. If a single photon has a certain frequency to eject an electron, then electrons will always be ejected after hitting with lighter photons. The Hydrogen Atom We all are familiar with the concept of discrete orbits or energy shells, which Bohr predicted. Classical physics said that because the orbiting electron is constantly changing direction, it should emit electromagnetic radiation light. As a result, the electron should be continually losing energy. In fact, physicists calculated that the electron should lose all of its energy and spiral down into the proton in only about 0 0.000000000001 second. Bohr explained that electrons are allowed to move in certain energy states. If electrons are in higher orbital shells, they lose energy when they get excited to lower orbital shells. Conservation of energy demonstrates that energy should go somewhere, so photons carry this energy. It works both ways. The electrons get excited to higher orbits when light is shown. Electrons absorb photons of energy and use this energy to jump to higher shells. This phenomenon is called quantum jump. So to conclude our topic, we saw that classical physics was not successful to elaborate how nature works. And nature worked differently for the same conditions. Also, the whole idea of prediction was overthrown by quantum physics because when you observe the atomic scale, you find nature works in mysterious or probabilistic ways. Wave-particle duality is one of the most fascinating ideas about behavior of electrons even now. And with this all said, quantum physics has already touched successfully a whole different era up till now, including quantum zero-point energy, quantum teleportation, quantum machine learning, quantum information, and cryptography, and much more. Hope you guys liked the little insight of nature in the classical and quantum domain.